Welcome to another edition of The Double Shot. All right, Jason, I ran into kind of an awkward situation. I was gone on vacation uh, last week for a little bit. Oh, d- vacation or was this part two or three of your... <laughs> it was uh, part two of paternity, paternity leave. Part two okay. of paternity leave, But what would yeah. you call it? I called it vacation. Exactly. Okay, just a continue. Baby, I, we don't have to be a big deal. I'm just yeah, continue. Yeah, yeah, baby vacation. No, it was paternity leave day. Vacation. But what I was doing was I was using my paternity leave... For vacation. Yeah. We decided to make a destination paternity leave, okay. which called a vacation. sounds like vacation, but it's paternity leave. Anyway, so we're there. Uh, all my family is there. We kind of we decided to turn it into like a big family reunion. Mm-hmm. So on this, we we all my family we all went down to Sun River, beautiful Sun River, Oregon. We get down there, and uh, somebody in my family has the fun idea. They said, "Hey guys, why don't we?" And we're we're staying in like separate places, but we're all meeting up every night to like you know have dinner and drinks and all that kind of stuff. And so my brother says, hey, wouldn't it be fun if each one of us picked a night while we're here and we can schedule out the dinner so you don't have to like cooking on vacation. And so he gets the ball rolling. I know he gets the ball rolling and we all kind of just like acquiesce to this request, Mm -hmm. even though I'm not wild about it. And we all decide what we're going to do. And I'm kind of dragging my feet a little bit because I don't feel like I'm on his I'm on vac. I'm not vacation. I'm on paternity leave. So I don't bond with this kid to bonding with my new child. Why do I need to then step into like a schedule? He's like, I need to know what you guys are making for dinner on such mm-hmm. and such a night. I'm like, mm-hmm. for what reason? Like, you know, nothing's going to explode. It's annoying. It's super annoying. Super annoying. But whatever. You love your family. You can't, you know, I you can't, can't choose your family. And he's a great guy, but I. He doesn't sound like a great guy. You know guy. what I mean? So uh, I decide on Costco lasagna, which is delicious. Mostly, it's just easy. And it actually is really good. I really like it. But it's very simple. So I decide on Costco lasagna. I make this announcement the night before to my family. I say, they say, what are you making tomorrow, Jake? And I say, well, we're going to do Costco lasagna. Is there a trumpet before? (laughs) Yeah. Costco lasagna. So I'm talking about it, talking about it. And then my brother the next day sends a text out to the family because he hasn't chosen any either, even Mm -hmm. though he was such like a taskmaster about it. He sends a text out the next day and he says, hey guys, I've just, and his night is going to be that night. And my night's the following night. So his night's going to be like <gasps> on Sunday, on Monday. He goes, we've decided to make Costco lasagna. No. Yes. He stole it? He stole it. And I'm talking about it with my entire family. I'm in a room. We all are, you know, they all heard me say it. So I show my wife the text. And this is way, like, it's ridiculous. But this is how petty. I show my wife the text. I'm just like, he's doing Costco lasagna. She goes, that's our food. <gasps> That's a bold move. Am I right? Oh my God. I'm both in awe, but also angry at it. Am I right to be offended? 100, well, not offended. You should be annoyed, annoyed. and you should punch him. Well, here's what I did. So he makes Costco lasagna in case everybody comes over. Wait, did you say anything? Outside yeah, I texted him back. I said, So you uh, told everyone. What did he say to that? He didn't respond to my text. <gasps> I can show you the text. I, he didn't respond. I said, uh, I think I was going to do lasagna. Crickets. Nothing. He so, hates you. No, he. I think oh, he just. He hates you. I think he looks up to me so hard that he decided no, to copy he my hates meal. You. So they make lasagna that night, and everybody's like, "Oh, it's the best thing I've ever tasted." <laughs> and I'm sitting there like just stewing as I'm eating it because I know. Yeah. What am I gonna do now for food the next day? So do you know what I did? Lasagna. Costco lasagna. Yes, good. Power move. I think it was a power move. I'm Unless not gonna people let him weren't just... paying attention to the text chain. No, they knew what I was going to make. And so the, so the second night we had lasagna in a row. Everyone's sitting there like, I don't know. It felt like we just ate this nice before. And there was plenty of leftover from the night before. Mm-hmm. Totally wasted meal. I could have just cooked Surf the leftovers, leftovers from the yeah. previous night. But, you know, he tried to step on my territory. Well, he, he like... won, though. <laughs> he won. You think he won that situation? He 100% won. How? I served it twice. Yeah, I made served it, it twice. twice. People didn't want it the second time. They even made a note to talk out loud about... What are we doing? You know who it tasted again? good to? It tasted good to me the second time because revenge I was eating taste. spite and revenge. <laughs> uh, and he it. was just sitting there eating second day lasagna. You knew that this was going to go poorly. The second one, someone says, you know what would be a really good idea? Yeah. That never ends in a good idea. <laughs> it ends in leftover lasagna. Yeah, whatever. We'll see you next time. Hey, it's Jason Rance here with Scott Rurucka from Legacy Group Capital. He's their CEO. So... Let's talk about someone who wants to invest in real estate. They don't quite know where to go, what to do, where to start, but they do know, obviously, that right now the market is really, really hot. So you're the place to do it. How do you help? Yeah. So how we help is, you know, we've been investing in the greater Seattle area for over 20 years, and we have a 
a, a historical track record that is we're we're super proud of. Um, double digit returns uh, over time uh, with no investor losses. And if you can find somebody else out there that's done that, you should probably talk to them. And how we really do it is we're lending on real estate and we're also acquiring real estate and building it and developing it. All those things go come out of a fund that people invest into. So there's lending and there's acquisition. And then we share in profits with all of our investors on both those activities. Uh, Jason, most people can't do that on their own. They're not going to go develop properties. They're not going to go be a bank and lend money, but they can jump in with us and they can be that developer and they can be that lender, but it's underneath our umbrella with a 20-year track record that's unparalleled to anything that you'll find out there. We've been told that we're one of the best kept secrets in the Pacific Northwest. I don't want it to be a secret. I want everyone to know just about what it is you do. The Legacy Group Capital family of funds offer short-term 90-day investments at 7%. Longer-term investments, they've averaged double-digit returns. Just go to LegacyG.com.